Hey comrade, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of networking and especially we are going to explore the concept of bots and why there are exactly 65,536 of them. So let's get it started. Understanding bots is not just to the sale for network administrators and developers, it's also vital for ethical hackers. Why? Because bots are potential entry points into the system. Today in this video, we are going to take a look at the introduction to bots, the purpose of bots, the range of bots, well-known bots and their uses, and why exactly 65,536 bots. So let's get it started. To understand what a bot is, first need to have a basic grasp of computer network. Imagine the internet as a huge city. City, there are several houses. Each house has a unique address. Similarly, on internet, each device, be it computer, laptop, tab, or phone, they have a unique address known as IP address, okay? In a house, there are several entry and exit points. Uh, in this, we are going to call window door. There are windows, doors. Similarly to that, in a device such as laptop or phone, there are several entry and exit points for data which are known as ports. A port in networking term is a logical endpoint in an operating system that helps manage network connections. Think of it as a specific doorway through which information from the internet can enter and leave your device. Now let's move to another segment which is for the purpose of ports. Ports are on multiple services and applications will run simultaneously on a single device. For example, you might be browsing the web or receiving emails and watching videos all at the same time. Each of these activities uses different ports to communicate over the network. For example, web browsers typically uses port 80 for HTTP and port 443 for HTTPS. Email services often use port 25 for SMTP and video streaming might use ports like 1935 for RTMP. Let's move to another segment which is the range of ports. The ports are divided into three character ranges which is well-known ports, registered ports, and private ports. Well-known ports are reserved for specific services and protocols. For example, port 22 for SSH, port 80 for HTTP, and port 443 for HTTP. These ports are standardized and recognized universally, ensuring that services can communicate correctly and consistently across the internet. Registered ports range from 104 to 49151 and are typically assigned to a specific application by the internet assigned numbers of heretic known as IN. For instance, port 3306 is commonly used for my SQL database. Now, if you look at the private port, it is also known as dynamic or private ports, ranging from 491 to 565535. These are temporary ports assigned by the operating system for client-side communication. Now, let's move to the last segment, why exactly 65536 ports. This number comes from the fact that ports are represented by a 16-bit numbers in the transport layer protocol like TCP and UDP. Now, what is 16-bit? See, bit comes from the word binary digit. It is a fundamental building block of data. Just like building block of any particular material is atom, similar to that, building block of any data is bit. It comes from the word binary digit. One bit can either be 0 or 1. That is, it has two possible values. So, in 16-bit, the first one can be 0 or 1. The second one can also be 0 and 1 and similarly this goes 16 times. So if you multiply 2 into 2 into 2 this 16 times, you will get the number 65,536 uh, which comes from this. Now why 16 bit? Why not 32 bit or why not 8 bit? See, using a 16 bit numbers was efficient and sufficient for the needs of the early internet and it, it has proven to be robust enough to support the diverse range of applications we use for. To summarize, ports are essential components of networking, allowing multiple services to run on a single device. The 16 bit numbering system gives us 65,536 unique ports divided into well-known, registered and dynamic ranges. This system has stood the test of time, providing reliable framework for internet communication. And that that's it for this video guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to our channel and if you have any queries, please comment down in the comment box and see you in the next video guys, bye bye.